and then the other relevant force is the friction force the friction force which is acting between the shell and the glide surface for the rotational motion of the shell about its own center of mass hello students today we will have a very simple question based on rolling on an incline but it is simple only if you have conceptual clarity about what you are doing let us have a look at this problem very interesting indeed the question says a spherical shell of mass m and radius r is completely filled with a frictionless fluid a much better word would have been non viscous fluid okay liquid uh, there is a spherical shell of radius r mass m and it is filled with some liquid which is non viscous which means it does not offer any friction to the surface of the cell and the fluid is also having mass m mass of shell as well as fluid both are same now this shell is released from rest and then it rolls without slipping rolls without slipping down the incline that makes an angle theta with the horizontal incline plane makes an angle horizontal with the uh, with the uh, makes an angle theta with the horizontal and the shell slides no it does not slide it rolls without sliding on the incline plane what will be acceleration of the cell down the incline just after it is released assume that acceleration due of free fall is g so this is the situation this is white colored shell having mass m and the blue colored thing inside it is actually the liquid which is also having mass m it does not offer any friction there is no friction between the shell and the fluid and this thing has been placed on an inclined plane making an angle theta with the horizontal we have to find the acceleration with which the shell will move assuming that there is no sliding so this is your question pause the video give it a try well uh, the relevant forces are 2 mg sin theta i have taken the component of weight of this entire assembly along the incline m is mass of the shell empty shell and m is the mass of the fluid that is present inside the cell so the total mass of this object is 2 m and the weight force is vertical the component of the weight force along the incline plane is 2 mg sin theta all of you understand this the other component of weight force is 2 mg cos theta which i haven't shown in this diagram i am also not showing the normal reaction force they are irrelevant as far as this particular question is concerned and then the other relevant force is the friction force the friction force which is acting between the shell and the incline surface the incline plane exerts a friction force f on the shell so these are two relevant forces now in the direction of motion that is down the incline we can simply write an equation using f is equal to ma that is newton second law and the equation will be 2 mg sin theta minus f is equal to 2 ma 2 mg sin theta minus f is the resulting force in the downward direction downward to the incline and that must be equal to mass of the assembly that is 2m into acceleration when i write this equation f is equal to ma f stands for net external force and a stands for acceleration of center of mass of the system so the center of mass of this entire system is at the geometrical center of the shell itself because the liquid is of course uniform so its center of mass also lies at the center of the shell so the whole assembly has its center of mass at the center of the shell and we are assuming that center of the shell is moving with an acceleration a so net force is mass times acceleration this is very straight forward equation now what i am going to do is i will consider the rotational motion of the shell about its center of mass now this is the geometrical center of the shell which is also the center of mass of the cell about this point i will consider the rotational motion of the cell 
I hope all of you understand that this shell will have an acceleration a at the same time it will have an angular acceleration alpha and a will be equal to r alpha for no slipping condition to hold because the shell is not slipping on the inclined plane therefore acceleration of its center will be equal to r times alpha where alpha is its angular acceleration. Now this equation I have written for the complete assembly for the whole mass 2m but the next equation that is the torque equation torque is equal to I alpha that equation I am going to write only for this shell. Now you have to understand that I am not considering the liquid in my system I am just talking about this white colored shell I am just thinking of white colored shell which force produces torque on this white colored shell about its center naturally this friction produces a uh, torque which is counterclockwise in this diagram this force will have no torque of course and because the fluid is non viscous because the fluid does not exert any friction force on the inner wall of the cell therefore there is uh, no chance of fluid exerting any torque on the shell I am talking only about shell shell is my system now for the next equation that I am going to write I am not considering the motion of the fluid actually the fluid is not going to rotate because there is no torque on the fluid which is going to make it rotate there is no friction between the cell wall on the fluid this friction acts on the white colored shell and the shell wall is not applying any friction on the fluid so fluid will just translate whereas cell will translate plus it will rotate that is the key thing that you have to understand so only the white colored shell is going to rotate the liquid is not going to rotate I am writing torque is equal to I alpha equation for the rotational motion of the shell about its own center of mass F into R is the torque friction into this radius is the torque of this friction force about the center of the shell this torque is acting on the shell and this is equal to I into alpha all of you must be knowing that moment of inertia of this cell about any diameter about this diameter is 2 by 3 into mr square so this is torque this is i this is alpha i again repeat in while writing this equation i am studying i am considering only the rotational motion of this shell the liquid anyway is not rotating so now everything is over now just you just need to simplify these two equations to get the value of a so cancel one r from both the sides here you will be ref left with r alpha and r alpha can be written as a so doing that simplification gives me this equation now this is one equation this is another equation if you add these two equations friction gets cancelled out minus f and plus f this gets cancelled out and you get 2 mg sin theta is equal to 2 by 3 ma plus 2 ma which I have written over here 2 mg sin theta is 8 by 3 ma you just add these two and that is all m cancels out and you get the value of acceleration it is 3 by 4 g sin theta. So it was a very simple question but only if only if you understand that the liquid is not rotating only the shell is rotating whereas liquid as well as shell both are translating with same acceleration. So students I hope you enjoyed this question, goodbye, see you in the next video, thank you.